Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in Drydock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen. I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Hey there, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Let's Play StarCraft Brood War. Oh, I can't control these guys yet. Alright, troops, listen up. Each squad will have a medic assigned to it to patch up the wounded, but that doesn't mean you can get careless. Stay frosty and get the job done. On this episode, we're introduced to Terran units called medics. They have energy, and they can heal Marines or any infantry unit. As you see, you get attacked, you get healed, no big deal. So, the objective of this mission is to take, whoops, is to take each of these civilians to one of these beacons to commandeer a different battle cruiser. Take that one, and the battle cruiser goes flying off. So basically, this mission we are going to be commandeering, I think it's... I don't remember how many it is. But anyway, it'll be a bunch of them. Stim up these marines, they attack faster, but of course they'll just get healed, no big deal. Medics are extremely useful, and they were introduced in Brood War from, uh... Well, they didn't exist in the original StarCraft, so... Whoops, heal, that's your job. Why aren't you healing? And of course these medics are just healing each other. Go figure. Okay, so I think that's all of the beacons here. So let's go ahead and grab these battle cruisers. So it's just a bunch of different scenarios in which we're given units, we're given civilians, get the Battle civilians to the units. Operation. We have no time limit, Battle but if a civilian dies, then we'll automatically have to um, just up? find more. Okay, so now, whoops. Sir, permission to blind that tank with an optical flare. Did permission granted. Alright, so medics possess three abilities. One is heal, which they do automatically, heal units. Restoration, if a unit has been infested by a queen or has been, you know, anything else, 
then it'll just heal that right up. Optical Flare allows you to blind an enemy unit. For example, if I do this, now that tank's Fog of War has been greatly, greatly decreased. So the chances of it being able to shoot me now are pretty well 0%. It can't even probably see off this platform. So let's just walk past it. And we can get to our first, whoops. Gotta blind that one too, there we go. And of course the medics will go heal each other again. Okay, so we got one battle cruiser. There's another one over here, but... Uh oh, what's going on? Oh. Okay, I guess he could see me. Okay, where did my ghosts go? Oh, here they are. Alright, one can go here, and the other one can go over here. Uh oh! Run! Oh good. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay. So I didn't lose too much, but... Where's the other beacon? Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, well let's go back. I didn't even see that it was over here. How embarrassing. Okay. There we go. Scenario 2 done. This is one of my favorite missions in the Terran campaign, by the way. We've got four nukes on standby, awaiting your orders. Four nukes. Okay, so I can nuke four times. That is useful to know. Okay, let's go ahead and cloak up. That looks like a perfect position to nuke. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna keep these guys behind for now. Okay. No, 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 don't do that. There we go. Now that that's locked down, now I can do this. Alright, so that pretty much took out everything over there. Good. Okay, everything over there is cleared out, I think. Perfect. So we got two civilians, one over here, one over here. Um, if you don't get enough battle cruisers under your control by the end of this mission, then you just can't fight off the stuff that they bring at you and you lose. So it's good that you actually get enough stuff. Oops. No, you guys, back off, back off, back, back. Heal that. There we go. And let's watch the nuke fall. Derp. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, what's. Oh, that's another ghost. Okay. Let's have my ghosts all run in cloaked, because I think I've pretty much gotten rid of the last of the, uh... Of the what's it called? Uh, things that I need to nuke. Well, I only used one, two, three nukes. I guess I had an extra just in case I missed. Oh well. Alright, come on in, boys. Alright. And my ghosts will all come on up here. Oh god! Okay, 
Okay, I actually want to keep that ghost alive because if they have more spider mines and I need to nuke something else. Oh, I guess I don't need to nuke anything else. Okay, well let's send these guys all up here to f attack then. Just kill them. Good. Wonderful. Oops, that's a ghost. I want you to come over there. Okay then. Oh yeah. Totally forgot about that medic restore. There we go. Um, don't want to go too far just in case. Whoa, 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 whoa. What hit me? It was a tank, but where did it come from? Okay, this guy needs to run. Yep, it was from over there. Inside the fog of war. Okay. Let's get a ghost. Let's see what that business was. There it was. Jerk. Okay, there we go. Now that, that tank's done, I can work on this bunker. I don't really want to kill it though, because then everything inside it will come all the way over here and... Okay, I'll just let that burn for now. Alright, let's move on out. Oh no, 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 back, back. Back. Let the medics heal you. Okay, there we go. Let's have the professionals deal with this. Okay, there we go. Now I can go take that out. Ooh, my power just flickered. I don't know where that was. Let's lock down this guy. And you can cloak, because I'll need to lock down this, because I don't think I can take down that guy before he un, uh, uncomes from his uh, thing. Oh, unless I do that. Whoa, there's another tank. Good thing I have a uh, medic. Okay. All you guys, chill. You can uncloak. Okay, I need a um, ghost with lots of energy left to go deal with that. Um, this one is 157. How do I get up there? I guess I have to go all the way around. I can't really do this the easy way. That bunker is probably burned down by now. Yeah, it has. Oh, there was just a few things in it. How much health is that? No problem. Yes. Try and kill the tank with fire. Okay, I'm actually going to put that on stop. Alright, everyone, move. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, this one can't lock down. Actually, he might be able to. Let's cloak him up. 
I don't know what's up here, so I'm gonna cloak the rest of these guys too. And we're gonna take out this guy. So I can actually move about. Cloak. He's got the energy. Yeah, I think you'll be my guy to keep going. Alright, let's keep going. See what else is up here. On this, there we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. Oh dear. Okay, so this ghost needs to be healed, and wow, his cloak was almost up. He was so close to dying, I think. Okay, let's get these. Civilians all in their battle cruiser homes. You can come over here. You can come over here. Let's move the rest of these up. I think this is the last area actually. That's why it's taking so damn long. Right, let's move these guys up here. Got another siege tank over there. It looks like. Battle cruiser operational. Um, who's got energy? And cloak. Come on, move it, move it. This isn't Tiananmen Square. Okay. You're not going anywhere, boy. Okay, let's stop. Okay, go. Okay, you can come up here. I don't want one of you in there, though. Uh, where's the rest of my stuff? Here it is. Oh, right, I got that thing to deal with. Um, I think this guy can do it with his medic buddies. Oh, he just couldn't see me. Well, that's okay too, I guess. Anyways, here we have that. Where is the last beacon? Oh, it's over here. And let's just wander down here just to make sure. Okay, nothing can hit us. Let's go grab the last battle cruiser. All right, I got all 18 battle cruisers. Very nice. Battle cruiser operational. We are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. Ah, this must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. Good day. With all 18 battle cruisers, it's pretty impossible to lose this battle. Yamato gun doesn't do too much, but yeah, let's just have these guys all gather around in a ball. All crews reporting. Set the course. Okay. Captain, we are being hailed by the Dominion flagship NORAD 3. Well, now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, 
command in the name of Emperor Max Guy order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? And you mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Okay, so Edmund Duke is still... A big pain. So, we'll just wait for him to get here. And then we'll blow him out of the water. He always thinks he's so big and then he's really not. So if you, like I said, if you get all 18 battle cruisers, winning this battle is hardly an issue. Let's just Yamato up, instantly kill a battle cruiser. You run away. Nope, you died. Use whatever Yamato is left to hit that one. No big deal. Easy peasy. Alright, so that was a pretty easy mission. Pretty short video for the day. Well, 19 minutes, so it's still pretty long. Anyway, so that was a fun mission. I usually like doing it, so... On the next episode of Let's Play StarCraft, we'll see what happens with the UED now that they have all of the Dominion's old battle cruisers. See you guys next time.